Good New Mac rivalry in the city tonight. Clark and WPI meeting in men's basketball. WPI has had the Cougars number in recent meetings. Both teams coming in though with 10 wins and trying to get a little momentum going in their conference. And we had the game for you live on Charter TV3. We brought it to you earlier tonight. So here we go. There's Paul Phillips charges getting ready to go. Clark and WPI from the Neller. First half, WPI hot start. Dave Zielinski, the three ball. Engineers are up by 12. Zielinski had 12. Then the big man, Ian Converse, with a steal and then on the move, and then he finishes with a flush. Converse put WPI up 14. His brother playing on the other side. Great passing here. Converse with the slam. He had 16 points. Great feed there. WPI looked like they were running away, but Luca McCormick and Clark coming back late first half with the jumper. They're cutting in the lead. Joe Atkinson's three, cut it down to five. Atkinson, 12 points, eight rebounds for the Cougars, but WPI pulls away to win it, 78-58. For more, we go to Kevin Shea and the dunking Ian Converse. Thanks, Andy. I'm here with Ian Converse, a big reason why WPI victorious here tonight over Clark. A huge second half by WPI and a huge game by Ian Converse, 16 points tonight. And uh, talk about the game and the win first, because this is a, as always a tough battle. Yeah, definitely. Um, another Worcester team just going down Park Ave, playing them. Always uh, really play us tough. Coach is a great coach, and um, the guys are really working hard. Definitely a good matchup tonight. What's it like for you playing your younger brother, Adam, playing for Clark, and the two of you were matched up one-on-one -on -one several times tonight? It's awesome to see. I mean, we've been playing against each other for the past, like, 20 years. Um, we always play each other tough, and just great to see him out on the, the hardwood, um, really working his um, it's good to see. Did you guys talk at all before the game, today at all? Was there any text messages sent, or do you wait till after? Yeah, we've been, uh, we've been texting the past few days. Um, our dad sent us a text this morning. He's rooting for both teams, but the best team win. And, um, it's, it's great to see. Um, our parents are really proud of us, and um, good to see him out on the floor and just go from there. All right, Ian, thanks for joining us. Thanks Congratulations so on the win. Thank you. Big win for WPI. Big win for Ian Converse over his younger brother, Adam, as well. And it's just a tough road for WPI as they will take on Wheaton this weekend. That's the story, though, here from the Neller Center. WPI victorious here tonight. Andy Neller, let's send it back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Kev. Thanks, Joe Sorrentino, photobombing in the back on the ladder. Holy Cross and Army in women's hoop tonight. Bill Gibbons, his bunch, winners of two in a row, trying to get their third straight. And Lauren Manis working hard, followed her own shot, put Holy Cross down by five at that point. Army West Point, Jess Lewis drilling a three. Black Knights were up by eight. Freshman, Madeline Smith, knocking down the three, back of the net. Crusaders are within six. Black Knights then, Madison Hovren, hooping harm, takes a hit. Army continuing to lead, and Finney Thomas, well he, late first quarter, knocks down the jumper. Crusaders were down seven after one. Second quarter, Thomas Wahid off the handoff from Manis, knocks down another jumper. And then the Patriot League reigning rookie of the week, Manis, a turnaround. She had 15 points, 12 rebounds, but not enough tonight. Army West Point gets the win, 67 to 59. High schools now, Holy Name and Doherty in front of a packed house, the Highlanders gym. And they're in transition first quarter. Marty Silvera up and in. Doherty is down by two. Silvera, a talented sophomore. Then it's Sam Adusui from Holy Name. The jumper knocking it down. The naps are up six. Doherty on the move. Matt Brothers takes the feed and knocks it down. Here come the Highlanders. Naps look to answer. James Trottier. Good strong take for two. Naps up five. More from Holy Name. Devondre Edmonds, the big fella. Showing the touch, getting the roll on the road. First quarter coming to a close. Patson Pierre off glass. Doherty gets the win, 75 to 66. To hockey now, Auburn hosting Wachusett in an ancient Seamass hockey rivalry. This dates back to the old Webster Square rink where there were hits like this. Well, good defense anyway from freshman Sean Gardner defending the bid. Rockets keeping up pressure, whistling the shot. Mike Putnam the save. Auburn captain William Sogren, Rister, gets top shelf. It's a goal, 1-0. He's pointing to the alums like Brian Spanos, who was in attendance tonight. Wachusett answering. Andrew Gaffney's shot, redirected by Shane Sullivan, tied the game at one apiece. Wachusett with a big third period, and they get the win, 4-1. to one. 
your final. Boxing now, way in night tonight for Rivera Promotions Pro Boxing Show in Worcester. Undefeated featherweight Irvin Gonzalez in the main event taking on veteran Israel Rojas. Gonzalez looking forward to a test in front of his home crowd. Much about him, I know he's coming out of Mexico and Mexico always has the tough fighters, but um, I know if I land a body, a body punch like my other fights, if I land a body punch, I hurt him early in the first round, it'll be a quick fight. To have it back here in Worcester is just an honor. It's, it's great because you all, now you can bring back boxing back to Worcester. You're bringing back the fans. And boxing's always been big in Worcester. All right, the fight's titled New England's Future. Their Thursday night, tomorrow night at the Palladium, features several local guys making their pro debut and Irvin Gonzalez in the main event. Jose Rivera, one of the promoters of this show, his son AJ, the three-time world champ. El Gallo promoting the show. Mercyhurst in Holy Cross in college hockey is our next game live broadcast here on Charter TV 3. We have it for you Friday night from the Hart Center in a good Atlantic League matchup. Mercyhurst and the Cross. So boxing, hockey, basketball, we covered a lot of it tonight. And, uh, you know, busy night in the city and a busy week coming up. A great lineup, and that should be a good game coming up as well. Yeah, Friday. Holy Cross and Mercyhurst, an important game for the Crusaders in their league to try to keep moving up the standings. Great. That's sports, and that's our show for tonight. For Andy Lacombe, I'm Catherine Andrioli. Thanks for watching Worcester News tonight. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 6. Good night.